Good afternoon, Jordan Trask here. It's a beautiful day in the Mid-South. I just had to pop the window open. And I wanna welcome you to my 17th day of the 25 Days of Christmas. It's a campaign I'm running. I know it may not be as organized or professional as you may like, but it's off the cuff, off the top of my head. I'm running through some ideas, concepts, industries, and coming up with some campaigns that could help a company grow during the holidays and also retain business throughout the season. Not just the season, but th throughout the year, I'm sorry. And today I drew a really cool, um, really creative industry, in my opinion, uh, which is dancing, dance instructor, dance classes. Um, and you know, it takes a lot of hard work to get to that point to become one of those types of instructors. And filling your classes could be hard during the holiday season, right? Because there's a lot of people busy, a lot of activities already going on. And most people aren't going to really want to start something new. You're not going to be able to acquire somebody new uh, when there's so many other distractions or so many other priorities. So I wanted to really think about this for a second before I just jumped on here and did a video because I, I don't do dance. Most cases, that's that's a, a female uh, leader, in my opinion, at least the, the dance instructors that I've met or the dance classes I've met. You think of cheer, you think of uh, you know halftime shows, you think of just competition, right? You think of... Uh, musicals, you think of art, you think of even ballet, stuff like that, that's good for, uh, you know, work at working out as far as an alternative to going to the gym. There's all these reasons that people will go uh, to a dance instructor, but for the most part, it's a gymnast, it's a, somebody that has a lot of experience in a lot of different, um, you know, dancing styles or plays or uh, stuff like that. So when it comes to coming up with a holiday strategy, when it comes to coming up, when it comes to a holiday strategy for this type of industry, it really threw me for a loop. Um, you know, how do you really tie that in to Christmas? How do you, you know, make it, you know, like a gift or like a celebration or even in the snow? How do you involve, you know, Christmas elves, same as workshop, uh, Christmas elves. Is there any other type of elf? I guess there probably is. So maybe you should label them as Christmas elves, but... My point being, you know, you don't want to be cheesy. You don't want to just make it about the season. I think a lot of times when it comes to TV commercials, right, or even marketing in general, it gets really cheesy because we force it. You know, we put our foot in our mouth sometimes. Well, maybe not me, um, but a lot of companies do that trying to, to follow themes and trends and maybe other strategies that competitors have done that that they don't even look into. They just assume that they should duplicate that, right? Um and, you know, when it comes to getting, you know, children or teenagers, I guess, if whoever does dance classes to come in the, to the door, I don't know as if that would work, right? And, and we don't want to focus on a, just a building awareness campaign that is like, hey, we're here. Hey, we do this. Duh, right? You know, people know what dance classes are. If, if, if they want to get some, they're going to look for them and then compare and contrast. But we want to create that memory, right? And so I was thinking about all, all different types of ways that we could do that. Um, maybe not even including Christmas, but maybe like the aura of Christmas, you know. And so I'm thinking of giving. I'm thinking of, uh, you know, just the season itself. It's, it's sometimes me and my family personally, we've we've gone through hardships, right? When I first started my company, you know, we needed help. We couldn't get the type of gifts. So it was a struggle, right? We had to overcome. And then last Christmas, you know, it was not an abundant one, right? We were able to do a lot of different things and enjoy time together, have more time together. I wasn't working so much. And then, you know, the um, the success and stuff that my wife and I have had allowed us to, you know, do things that we haven't done before, right? So there's different seasons that people go through during the holiday season and being able to uh, understand that or, or tap into that is super important because like I said before, my life coach episode, I think it was episode 12, um, you know, it, it can be, it can be draining, right? It can be discouraging. It can be frustrating. It can be depressing, but it can also be full of jubilee. And even, even when you have everything, right? When you have everything that you want, it could be a really lonely season, right? So there's all these types of personalities you want to think about in all these types of situations or circumstances that you want to try to encompass and communicate in a, in a campaign and not just say, Hey, we offer dance lessons. So I'm thinking of, just being really authentic, because you guys know I like authenticity and, and originality and coming up with creative stuff that can, that people can latch onto. And I'm thinking about really telling the story of this dance instructor um, 
and maybe I'm making this up, maybe it's not a true holiday strategy, but I, but I think most of the people that work really hard to reach a point and start their own business, especially in a creative avenue like dancing, you know, you gotta go through some stuff uh, um, to get there. It's, it's really competitive, I think it's cutthroat, right? There's a lot of talented people just being able to have the savviness to start a business and then the personality, right, to engage people and get them to come in and, and believe in you. Not everybody has those types of tools, right? So that's why entrepreneurship can be so hard. You can learn to make money, you can learn to sell, but it's the experience. If you're not encompassing and, and uh, selling an experience, then then you don't have something people can latch on to. Anyways, I'm rambling again. So I'm thinking if I just created some sort of persona for for this this business or this dance instructor that's wanting to market during the holidays, and I'm gonna go ahead and assume that maybe they had some hardship growing up and that dance was their escape, right? Dance taught them discipline. Dance taught them uh, work ethic. Dance taught them how to cooperate, right? C choreography. It, it taught them how to take people that have different talents or skills or work with them, right? How do you mold somebody? How do you um, uh, use somebody's strengths uh, to mold maybe with your weaknesses, right? To, to mesh with your weaknesses. Uh, how do you work together, right? And I think dancing is one of those things, just like football. I, I played college football. You know, it's, it's, football is a true team sport, and you can't just have a really good quarterback and win. Dance is the same way. You can have one or two really good dancers, and if you're in a group and you're choreographing something, uh, uh, you know, or you're or you're doing it to work out, right? Either way, um, you know, one uh, slow cog in the system, or what do you say? Maybe the presentation itself. Say you're doing it uh, for a presentation or a play, right? One person that's off, off beat, I guess is what I'm trying to say, or maybe not as as coordinated, is going to throw the whole body of the performance off, and. And it's, but it's deeper than that, right? Let's let's talk about the depth of that. It's not about, hey, I'm better. I need to pull that person. It's how do I come down and teach that person? How do I understand that I was the little girl or little guy that was struggling in the dance class, but it was my escape? How do we tell this person's story? Um, and maybe maybe I'm uh, not landing specifically somewhere right now that you, that, that you could see, but um, it's the way, the way my mind works to, to be able to create a message right that's that's real that people can feel um, and that means something to not just the person whose message it is right and how do you communicate it in so many different ways that people can understand it and, and resonate with it and that's why I just keep coming back to with this dance this dance instructor is the work ethic the pushing for the you know maybe uh, her her boyfriend cheated on her maybe she got uh, didn't make tryouts for for a gymnast team, right? Maybe she, uh, her mom died, right? When she was a little girl or her, her dad left her, right? Um, she grew up fatherless. Um, you know, maybe um, they didn't have a lot of money, right? There's so many different things that you can relate to that this person went through to become what they are, this dance instructor and this escape, that this is her passion. This is what she was born to do. This is what uh, she's good at and and she's able to teach it. You know? And she has the story behind um, her profession, right? And we tie it, tie it all down to Christmas by, by saying it's the giving season. She wants to give it back. She's struggled to get to where she is, to build her business, to, to have clients. And she wanted to quit. She wanted to give up, throw in the towel, maybe work at Kroger. Maybe she worked somewhere else. Maybe she really had to scrape and claw to, to, to reach a point, but now she's at fulfillment. Now she's able to give back because she was made to do this, uh, to reach other little girls and little boys or or even uh, maybe adults, right, that are struggling with things in, in the past. She can have different types of classes. And and then we're, we're communicating too, um, you know, just what dance brings, not only the work, the work ethic, the workout, the fitness element of it, uh, the cardio, right? And how it can shape your body and mold your body. It's just like that, that we could talk about how she fell in love with that and how it's brought her into the best shape of her life. But the escape, right? The focus, the meditations, the the release, right? Um, and then meeting the people, the learning how to flow with people, right? Learning how to, to work together, cooperate, be one, right? Uh, discipline um, and, uh, you know, just the the desire and ability to overcome that those mental blockages in life, right? And I think that would be such a cool commercial to have during the holidays that's not shoving Santa in your face. 
even though Christmas is about Jesus Christ anyways, and you know, his gift to us, and um, it would, it, it makes sense, right? This is the season that, um, for those types of things, to love those types of people, to, to hear those types of story, and, and to praise God for them, right? To, to celebrate and have gratitude, to be thankful from Thanksgiving all the way to New Year's and, and really reflect on the year and, and all the places that we've gone and, and how far each of us have come. And, and if there's something that somebody is walking through and it's been a discouraging year for so many people, even going back to last year, right? So many things have happened. Um, you know, a lot of things people are facing with their jobs, a lot of um, discrimination out there and stuff, uh, a lot of division probably in households, politics, stuff like that, that somebody could be really down during the holidays and what if they're able to find their escape and dance? What if that was me? I've never been a dancer. And I saw that commercial. I'm like, man, that'd be cool. I could go learn to dance, get some cardio, maybe take my daughter, escape, right? Burn this this stress, this this weight that I'm carrying or something that I'm going through and have some fun, right? Um, most importantly, yeah, have some fun. Show the energy of the class, the instructor. Show the progress. Show people that come in and how it's changed them. Show that chemistry, that camaraderie. Uh, the development, all these things that come with a, a, a genuine group of people that, that care about giving back and teaching you how to do something that they're passionate about. And I'm rambling again, and I get really, you know, excited about this type of stuff because, you know, if, just think if you're able to come up with a commercial like this and push it on social media, you could do it yourself. You could record the stuff yourself, have a family member even do it. You, everybody knows a videographer, a photography, a photographer, maybe talk them into a bean sponsor for the for the shop this the, the the center right it's brought to you by Danielle Jacqueline photography right and you have a big banner on there and you have them do all this stuff for free I mean there's ways for you to work this out to create a really cool commercial that you could serve on YouTube that people can share um, and you think about all the stuff that was done last year I think it was was a UPS or something or the number 84 they did some really odd commercials that that weren't really relevant to the service that they provide and products they provide, but it was trying to tie, uh, you know, bring something home, right? And I think it was about the migrants coming across the border and it was relevant. It was something that somebody's going through and it showed that they cared. In my opinion, it was cheesy, but I remembered it because it was so um, emotionally intense, I guess, in a time where you're kind of expecting, you know, holiday cheer and all this stuff. So. Uh, even if people don't sign up for dance lessons, uh, the class or whatever, and they see that commercial, they're going to want to support this young lady. They're going to want to like her page. They're going to want to share her website. They're going to want to follow her journey. And they're going to want to tell little girls or other people that they meet um, that love to dance to go see this gal uh, and check her out and at least support her, try it out. And you don't have to give away the barn you don't, to get people to come in. You know, when people, when, when you think about this, a lot of people give stuff away during the holiday season to get people to come in when it's slow, right? But think that that's costing you money too. Find a way to manage your marketing so that it's it's feasible, that it makes sense, and it's not you know destroying your bottom line in a, in a season of drought. Um, but do it in a way that's impactful because you know you give away the barn, you're losing revenue, but you maybe get people in and maybe creates return, but maybe not and. If you're able to do something like this, it's really powerful on the front end that gets people to believe in you. Uh, what a lot of people don't understand is if you do fail or you do mess up or or something happens, right, where somebody has a bad experience, they're able to give you grace, right? And they're able to still be grateful for what you stand for because that initial first impression was a really, really good one that meant something to them. So think about that stuff. You have a company or business that's relevant to this or that you could tie in something from this strategy to your campaigns or um, you know just to share with your following maybe it's it gives you an idea to just do a live video like this that's what this is all about um, you know helping you be more effective with your marketing to reach more people not to garner more sales but to help them because that's what you set out to do don't forget it be purposeful with all that you do and always remember to pre-focus